Hi everyone, it's Farron here with another update on the uh, Panzer IV project and this is my diorama so far. I just want to point out to you that this uh, I didn't make this from scratch. Okay, this was um, a plaster cast from uh, a manufacturer called Great North Roads. Um, you should check them out, they're really good. They're, all their bases are done in um, Herculite, which is a very strong plaster Paris. And um, I bought this years ago at a model show in uh, Western Supermare. Uh, cost uh, 18 quid and the tracks you got with it were are plastic so which is good because those stuck down really easy I've just got to repaint these because I don't like the color that they are I just need to paint the tops shine them up a bit I've got some uh, gunmetal pigments or I might just use a bit of graphite just to put a dull shine on these to make it look like they were once used and as you can see, I've got a pile of bricks stacked over here and more around the front of the house here. Sorry, I've got no zoom on this. So I'm just using my webcam and now we're going to go like scattered debris all over. This is all going to be repainted, of course. And um, I've got to build some sort of woodwork flooring at the back here. It once had, uh, you know, and upstairs so I think that's going to be positioned round about here to where most of the upstairs part of this build has been knocked out through air raids or tanks blowing shit out of them and I'm going to have the Panzer IV sitting on there quite nicely as you can see it there like it's a typical Tamiya kit you have no option to pivot the wheels to make them look like it was actually moving over the, the rubble that's been strewn all over the place. Well, that's that bit. Uh, I'm going to start um, the weathering process soon. As soon as I've got all the tools and everything painted up, okay, and I'll, I'm going to start with the weathering. Should be good, should be fun. Of course, it's the best part of the show. I'll pop that over there. And um, here we go, I'll show you. Um, do, 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 do. It's almost finished, just got a stay in the trousers. Focus. There you go, that's one of the soldiers, or one of the tank crew, there's another one here. Like I said in the last video, they look better in person than they do on the camera. Uh, this one I really enjoy painting. Oops, right, there you go. Get that a bit closer. Well, that was really good fun painting that. And then finished off the commander. Come on, focus. There you go. So he's all finished off. And then we've got the driver. There you go. Come on, focus your bugger. Okay. Interesting thing I found um, in my bits box. Years ago, I photocopied some um, maps out of. Um, that modeling book I got, which I have to retrieve from my ex-wife. She's still got it, I just hope she hasn't tossed it away. And I cut one out to basically, um, I'll show you now. Goes on tank on there. The map is on the top cover. And he looks like he's holding the map. There you go. So that's my idea, and this kit here, okay, this line of soldiers, I'm going to have them uh, having sort of like two over here at the back and probably um, the other three crossing the railway line because um, they're a really good sculpt. I've tried putting them together, you know, so there's like one set of legs. I've got to put the... Um, they're basically the heavy coat on them. 
uh, that's all coming together quite well. It's the only glue on that kit that I've done. But um, one thing I really like about this is um, the things you can do with lollipop sticks. I mean, all this over here is all are stuck in solid, that is, with PVA. And, you know, I just splinted up, uh, you know, a lollipop stick or popsicle stick, whatever you want to call them, depending on where you are in the world. And um, it's a really good uh, material to use, you know. My kids get through a hell of a lot of lollies, so I have the sticks. They've all got their uses. So yeah, also this is going to be covered in um, a layer of snow as well. Because that, that was my general idea for this thing. I was going to do a group build, but um, I decided not to because I find with group builds now these days it's just too much pressure and you don't really get the enjoyment that you want to do, you know, because you're building what somebody's asking you to build for their group build. Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic idea. I've done a couple of group builds myself, very happy with them. But um, these days I just want to build what I want to build. I'm much more happier in the hobby. All these bricks though, changing the subject now, are all going to be um, painted individually, different colours over here. So all this is going to get a coat of primer. Oh yeah, forgot this but here, this burnt out barrel, I'm going to have um, some old firewood stuck in there, which I've got on a plate over here. Yeah, you can see that just old lollipop stick, just chopped up roughly. I'll just have them all stuck in there, all burnt and scorched. Got about four, five, yeah, four pieces. So they'll go in there like that. So you get that general idea of uh, that part of the feature there. Now, I was wondering if anybody knows what I could use as a um, drain pipe. So on a so like drain pipe coming down this way, bent out, maybe would an old piece of sprue be okay to do that, do you reckon? For the thickness, I mean. Well, I'll give it a shot and see uh, how, it, how it goes. And I'll just take it from there. But I just need to basically touch up all of this, um, all of this up on here and we're good for painting then. It's been quite enjoyable. I've done all this yesterday afternoon. And uh, it was real good fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, there we go, it's going to afraid. You don't my beer gut lush staring at you. Yeah, so um, basically that's those done. I've got uh, just to finish off these two tank crew, which is basically just applying washes and, um, and that's it. And they're, and they're good to go. Uh, and then I'll start working on the tank and then I'll finish working on the diorama. Um, I've also got um, this Kubel wagon, which I'm going to repaint in, uh, in that colour over there, which is uh, German grey, and just have it all burnt out, demolished over here on the railroad sign some on there. I'll get the wheels. What I'll do, I'll chop off half the wheel there and there, make them look deflated and just re sculpt it with some green stuff to make it look like it's all, you know, all the air's been knocked out. And I think I might just have it on its side like that or upside down. I don't know. You, you tell me. Tell me what would look good. Maybe if I put the tank on there, that looks good. Because these guys are just sort of like entering uh, Stalingrad or the Balkans in winter, whichever. Um, and basically the Cuba wagon's just taking a turn for the worst. Maybe some um, Soviet resistance partisans tossed the Molotov cocktail and boom. Knocked it out of the sky. Well, knocked it off the ground. Because I got the, I got the figure for it. I might actually uh, convert it into a corpse. Just have like half the its body just sticking out there because the position he is is pretty pretty cool. And um, one of my dioramas will not be complete unless I had a skull. And you can probably see a little white dot just there. A little white skull there which is um you know it's a bit morbid actually i might take it out because it's like it's not 135th scale it's more like a child's skull 
Oh no, I'm taking that out, that's, that's gross. That's a cheap plaster. That's better. I'll replace that with a brick. Oh, come on. I used loads of this yesterday. <laughs> there you go. Easily replaced. So, um, yeah, I'm quite happy the way it's turning out at the moment. Any suggestions would be cool. But, uh, but my resources for bits and bobs for making dioramas is really, really scarce. I've got next to nothing. I mean, for the snow, I'm going to be using bicarbonate uh, soda mixed in with some PVA and I shall get that plastered strategically all over the uh, diorama and just hope I don't fluff it up. But uh, it's uh, been enjoyable so far. I mean, I was really pleased with the um, outcome on the texture of the hull and the upper hole in the turret that I'd done with the rotary tool. That worked out really well for me. But um, other than that, yeah, I'm re I've really enjoyed this. It's been really good fun. So I'm going to have to um, get this all sorted now. I think my job for today is to finish off those two crew members and we're done as regards to those figures. And then I've got another five to build. So yep, there you go. I'll just do a manual zoom. There she blows. So they're looking good so far. Now, I don't want to put in too many vehicles, so I was going to put in uh, a sidecar, but I think having a sidecar in the actual no, my, my BMW, sorry, the sidecar going over the lumps over here might be a bit too much, I don't know. I quite like the idea of it, just like struggling going across here because it comes with four figures, a rider, passenger, plus two walking behind. But the bad news is it's one of uh, Tamiya's really old 1970s kits and the head's going to have to go and be replaced because they just look shit. Um, but that's pretty much it regards to that. I've got uh, some spare heads that I can use and I can use green stuff to make a balaclava, etc. And that's pretty much it, guys. So we shall see. I'll build the sidecar just to see how, just basically see how it looks. If it looks good, look good. If it looks crap, well, well, it goes for something else. But anyway, there we are. That's what we've got, where I got up to so far. And I hope you've enjoyed this video as I have been waffling away here. And uh, please leave your comments. Always appreciate it. I love reading your comments. And just uh, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. See you in the next video. And everyone take care and build a model. Happy days.